Hello students. Have you ever wondered that how roads are constructed? Because the natural ground level is not a, a level surface. So in order to construct a road, we have to do some cutting work, we have to do some filling work. So how much quantity of earth is to be filled and how much quantity of earth is to be cut? All these questions can easily be answered if you know road estimate. And uh, in your semester examination, you are likely to get 10 to 14 marks of questions from this chapter. I'm Soumya Sahu, lecturer in civil engineering at SKTP Common Polytechnic, Raul Kela. And this video lecture is prepared for fifth semester diploma civil engineering students. So let's start the chapter road estimate. Let's understand road estimate through an example. This example says, Reduce level of ground along the center line of a proposed road from chain edge 10 to chain edge 20 are given below. So, from chain edge 10 to chain edge 20, the reduced levels are given. See, chain edge 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and the respective reduced levels of ground are also given in the question. Then, what's the, what's the next thing the question says? The formation level at the 10th chain is 107. So, a 10th chain age, that means at the beginning of chain age, the formation level of road is already given at 107 and the road is in downward gradient. That means, downward gradient means the road is, the profile of road is like this, it is in downward gradient. And uh, what is the gradient? It is given here. This term of gradient is 1 in 150. And this gradient is up to chain is 14. So, up to from 10th chain is to 14th chain is the road is having downward gradient of 1 in 150. What's after that? Then the next gradient changes to 1 in 100 downward. So, the road profile would be something like this. First, it is like this which is having a downward gradient of 1 in 150. Then the downward gradient changes to 1 in 110. So more steeper road profile would be there. So it would take some this kind of profile and it is the 14th chain edge. Okay, so from 10th to 14th chain edge, the downward gradient is provided with 1 in 150 and after 14th chain edge to the 20th chain edge, the downward gradient is provided with 1 in 100 gradient. So, what's the next thing that the question says? The formation width of the road is 10 meter. So, the road formation width is 10 meter from this point to this point. This length is 10 meter. And the side slopes of banking are 2 is to 1. These are the side slopes. So, this is of 2 is to 1 and the length of the chain is 30 meter so the chain used here is of 30 meter and if we multiply the chain length with the chain edge we will get the distance in meter okay so the first chain is this 10 and the chain length is 30 so if you multiply 30 into 10 then the distance would be 300 meter then next the question says that draw longitudinal section of the road and a typical cross section and prepare an estimate of earthwork at the rate of rupees 275 per cubic meter. Okay. So we have to draw the longitudinal section, we have to draw a typical cross section and we have to prepare an estimate of earthwork and uh, what is the rate? It is 275 per cubic meter. The chain is in the reduced level of ground. These data are given you in a tabular form. The RL of formation at 10th chain is already given in the question that is 107 meter and the gradient which is the downward gradient is given here up to 14th chain is it is 1 in 150 and after 14th chain is the downward gradient is in uh, 1 in 100. So in order to approach this kind of questions you have to first draw the diagrams. So in order to draw this kind of diagrams always start the diagram from the 
bottom of your copy or the bottom of your exam paper. First, you have to draw a rectangular box like this and you have to mention all the changes and the distance. Okay. So here we are having how many changes from 10th change to 20th change. So here it is drawn 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 up to 20. Okay. And the distance in meter is also mentioned here because in the question length of the chain is given which is 30 meter. So 30 multiplied with chain age gives you the distance 300 meter. Likewise for 11 chain age 11 into 30 equals to 330 meter. Next for 12 chain age the distance would be 12 into 30 equals to 360 meter. And likewise we can calculate all the distances in meter up to 20 chain age. The next right above this we have to draw another rectangular box and here we have to mention the reduced level of ground. The reduced level of ground is already mentioned in your question. Here the reduced level with respect to the change is already given in the question so you have to just copy here the reduced level of the ground. Here for 10th change the reduced level is 105 for 11 change it is 105.6 and so on. You have to just mention those values. The next Above that, you have to draw another rectangular box, and here you have to mention the reduced level of formation. So the first reduced level of formation, which is 107, is already mentioned in your question. So 107 is mentioned. Then how shall we calculate the other reduced level? I will tell you that reduced level of formation is equals to the previous reduced level minus the slope multiplied with chain length so if i put the given reduced level which is 107 minus the slope from 10th chain age to 14th chain age is already given as 1 in 150 so I will mention it as 1 in 150 and I will multiply the chain length which is 30 meter so I will get the value of formation level as 106.8 meter and for the next formation level I will I can calculate it like putting 106.8 minus slope 1 in 150 multiplied with 30 so I will get this value as 106.6 meter and so on and after 14 channels the gradient uh, the gradient also changes here the uh, after 14 channels the gradient is 1 in 100 so there you have to put the slope value 1 divided by 100 so in this manner you can calculate all the reduced level of formation then you have to draw another rectangular box which would show the height of bank or the depth of cutting. In this numerical, there would be no cutting work because see, the reduced level of ground is everywhere less than the reduced level of formation. So, the formation level of the road is above the reduced level of ground. So, there would be banking. And there would be no cutting work. So we have to mention the height of the bank here. And how would we calculate this height of the bank? If we subtract the value of reduced level of ground from the reduced level of formation, we will get the height of the bank. 107 minus 105 equals to 2 meter. The next 106.8 minus 105.6 is equals to 1.2 meter and so on we will easily calculate the height of the bank the next one you have to draw the longitudinal section in the longitudinal section first you have to mention the datum line here it is the datum line showing 100 meter and then you have to mention all the 
reduced level of ground. So 105, 105.6, 105.44, then 105.9 to the so 105, 105.6 is greater than 105, so it is shown in the figure at a uh, higher distance. And uh, 105.44 is smaller than 105.6 and greater than 105, so it is shown somewhere in between it. So in this manner, you will get the profile of the natural ground. Then you have to draw the formation line formation you know the reduced level of formation and you know the gradient so you can easily draw the fo formation line then you have to draw the cross section showing the formation width and the slope after you finish this half of your work is done then you have to go to the calculation of quantities the next job is to draw a table showing the calculation of quantities of earthwork. Here the formation width is 10 meter. We already know that and the slope is uh, 2 is to 1. So the uh, small s is 2 and now we have to draw the table which would have the data of station or chainage, the length and the height uh, or the depth difference of ground level and formation level, the mean height or the mean depth, the central area, the side area, it is the formula for central area, B into small d. And uh, the side area S into D square, total area BD plus HD square, and the length in between the station capital L, and the quantity is calculated as BD plus HD square multiplied with L. So the changes are given from 10th to 20th changes. Mm -hmm. Then the length is calculated as chain length multiplied with chainage. So 30 into 10, 300, 30 into 11. 330 so so on the length is calculated then mean height you have already calculated it from the figure isn't it here you have calculated or uh, all the heights or uh, height of banking uh, so the height or the difference of uh, ground level and formation level you have already calculated this and you have to calculate the mean height so uh, 2 plus 1.2 divided by 2 is equal to 1.6 then next 1.2 plus 1.16 divided by 2 which is 1.18 all the values are in meter you have to mention the units here and then you have to calculate the central area so the formation width is 10 meter and uh, the mean height which is small d is calculated over here so 10 multiplied with small d here 1.6 into 10 which is 16 meter square 1.18 into 10 11.8 meter square so on you have to calculate this then side area is calculated as s into d square so s is 2 s is equals to 2 so 2 into here the small d is 1.6 so 1.6 square so in the similar manner you have to calculate all these values then in order to get the total sectional area you have to add this area with this area so you will get this value 16 plus 5.12 equals to 21.12 meter square then the length in between the stations which is nothing but the chain length is 30 here only banking work is done no cutting work is done because the formation level is above the natural ground surface so the quantity is calculated in cubic meter how the area is multiplied with the chain length and we will get the quantity of earthwork and if we add all these quantities we will get the total quantity 
as 3513.6 cubic meter. Then after finding out all these quantities, we will have to the next we have to calculate the estimated cost. So in the question it is already given that the rate is 275 per percentage cubic meter. So it is the quantity which has been calculated and it is the rate 275 per percentage cubic meter. So if we multiply 3513.6 with 275 divided by 100 we will get the cost but there would be additional charges uh, what are these uh, additional charges for 3% for contingencies and 2% for work charge establishment so we have to add additional 5% of cost and the grand total would be 10,145.52 so with this we have uh, done the road estimate if you have got any doubts you can ask me thanks students